In the realm of home buying, borrowers often turn to the Federal Housing Administration, aka FHA loans, due to their low down payment requirements and flexibility. However, it is essential to consider the potential disadvantages of an FHA loan for the perspective of a seller. This video aims to shed light on the various reasons why sellers may choose not to accept the FHA loan during a real estate transaction. Highlighting the drawbacks and potential challenges associated with this popular financing option. If you guys don't know me, my name is Aaliyah M. Clark. I am a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia real estate professional. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel. If you guys are returning, Thank you guys for all the support. Let's go ahead and hop into the video. When working with FHA loans, there is a possibility of encountering delays during the transaction process, which may impact the closing timeline. The Federal Housing Administration imposes specific inspection requirements to ensure the property is in good condition, meeting the agency's standards. These strict guidelines may lead to additional repairs and modifications that the seller must address before closing. Consequently, such unforeseen complications can prolong the process and pose challenges for sellers who may prefer a faster closing. We also have to consider the limited pool of buyers. A significant drawback of accepting FHA loans is that it may limit the pool of potential buyers for sellers. Some sellers believe that by restricting their buyer pool to FHA qualified individuals, they might overlook potential buyers who do not meet those specific loan criteria. This limitation could attribute to somewhat stricter underwriting guidelines and qualifications and qualification criteria imposing on borrowers of FHA loans. Next up, we have appraisal value and repair requirements. Another aspect that may concern sellers when dealing with FHA loans pertain to property appraisal. The Federal Housing Administration has strict appraisal guidelines that ensure the home's condition and value align with the loan amount requested. Should the property fail to meet these criteria, the seller may become responsible for carrying out repairs and modifications that bring the property up to required standard. In some cases, sellers may find themselves navigating negotiations over repair costs, potentially leaving potentially leading to a conflict or delaying in closing. Next up, we have higher standards for property conditions. FHA loans require properties to meet certain condition standards, including safety and habitability requirements. While these guidelines are in place to protect the borrowers and ensure that they purchase a sound property, sellers may find themselves uh, grappling about the burden of addressing additional repairs or upgrades to fulfill these requirements. Consequently, the obligation to bring the property up to these higher standards can place a financial strain on the seller, potentially reducing their profit margins. Next up, we have perception of risk from complex guidelines. The complex nature of FHA loan guidelines can contribute to the sellers perceiving them as a higher risk compared to a conventional financing option. Sellers may be concerned about the possibility of the of loan denial during the underwriting process due to strict qualification criteria or possible property condition issues. This perception of risk may deter sellers from accepting FHA loan offers, instead opting for buyers that have conventional financing, which they may view as less complicated and more secure. While the FHA loans offer numerous benefits to borrowers, it is crucial to consider the potential challenges sellers may face when accepting such financing. Understanding the concerns surrounding the delays in the transaction process, limiting buyer pools, appraisal value, and repair requirements, higher standards of property condition, and perceived risk can aid all parties in making informed decisions during the real estate transaction. By evaluating both advantages and disadvantages, sellers and buyers alike can navigate the FHA loan landscape more effectively, ultimately facilitating a smoother transaction in the housing market. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. It will definitely help me reach more people so that we can get this information out to them. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching. If it was valuable to you, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I think I said that already, but that's okay. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.